After 20 years of democracy, South Africa faces service delivery challenges that threaten to harm the country's economic and social stability. An increasing number of municipalities find it difficult to provide basic services. There are many reasons that contributed to the situation, inequalities originating from the past, as well as population growth, corruption and the lack of skills. On local government level, municipalities render a wide range of services and have the responsibility to promote socio-economic development in their areas of jurisdiction. The local communities that they serve span the whole socio-economic range. To cope with today's challenges, municipalities must be managed by highly competent staff. For services to be delivered effectively and efficiently, municipalities need, for example, sufficient budgets for projects, clean audits in order to be able to lend money for projects from banks and to work effectively with taxpayers' money, successfully and timely implemented infrastructure projects to enhance local economic development, a well-functioning council and good relations between council and staff. Given the huge challenges many municipalities experience, this seems to be a difficult task. Many municipalities have limited resources with which to address growing needs and don't manage their finances well. Experience structural challenges such as skill shortages. Experience conflicts between municipal role players, including politicians, officials and the public. Furthermore, many municipalities suffer from system failures as a result of outdated and inappropriate policies and weak policy implementation. This situation can, however, be turned around to create successful municipalities that ensure effective delivery of services to their communities. Some municipalities are aware of the structural and systemic problems that they face, but struggle to implement the solutions. Others need to assess their critical governance issues. All municipalities can, however, benefit from expertise and support for policy implementation to significantly improve service delivery. The training and support provided by provincial departments and other training providers, such as SALGA, is indispensable. However, there is a need for a broader organizational development strategy and additional mentorship and coaching to assist in planning and implementation. In order to fill the gap between the spectrum of training provided by the provincial government and others and the practical needs of municipalities, an innovative pilot project called the Municipal Mentoring Project was developed. The concept was designed by the Hans Seidel Foundation and implemented by the School of Public Leadership in close cooperation with the provincial government of the Western Cape. The Municipal Mentoring Project is based on the idea to involve municipalities in a process of action learning and research in real-time situations in order to build capacity of municipal managers and other staff. Independent and experienced local government experts from Stellenbosch University were used to provide on-site mentoring and implementation support to selected municipalities. In cooperation with the political and administrative leadership of the municipalities, these expert consultants designed and delivered tailor-made action plans which were followed through jointly. In a relatively short period of time, the project enabled the involved municipalities to put the necessary building blocks for good governance in place. For example, crucial policies and bylaws were revised. Delegations in terms of Section 59 of the Municipal Structures Act were clarified. The roles and responsibilities for the relationship between municipalities' political structures, office barriers and the municipal manager in terms of Section 53 of the Municipal Structures Act were explained. Financial strategies were reviewed and updated. Organizational structures were reviewed and improved. The rules of order for council meetings were clarified and revised. Performance management strategies were developed. The immediate and long-term benefits of the project have confirmed that short-term external interventions based on action learning can indeed improve the situation of municipalities in a relatively short period of time. Given our experience, projects such as the Municipal Mentoring Project could benefit many more municipalities across South Africa and enable them to strive for excellence in municipal service delivery.